Yes. Puerto Rican. Boricua. Pastel. These are the real thing. However, Lupita doesn't eat pork. So, what I'm going to do make pastel is with chicken. I could always give you a pork recipe in the instructions that I'm going to add to the video. Before we get started, I'm going to move this guy because he's in my way. Here's the thing. The most important part of pastel is the masa. That's the thing that people just don't get it's right. It's too hot. It's too soft. It sticks to the paint. Nobody wants you that. You want a pastel that when people eat it, they're oh like, I'm gonna hook you up. You don't even know what happens. Somewhere around Halloween. You start drinking. And then it's like New Year's. Like and that. it's like a blur. You get the party started. Okay, so check it the out. The most important ingredient in pastel is love. Pero mira. You, love. you can't even boil an egg. You can't scramble an egg. You can't boil water. Get out of the don't kitchen. Don't be trying to make pasteles. Thank you. After you make the pasteles, if they're really good, move. Because people are gonna be knocking in your house. Talk about mira. Vendeme una docena. There's a supermarket in Spanish Harlem where you can still get all the things to make your pastel around the holiday little viejita little lady they get together to talk about whose pastel recipe is better than one and i go there with a notepad and i just because i know what my grandmother did you want to hear what other people are doing get a pen and paper me. let's do it we're gonna have a good time in between have a little bit of cookie we'll do a little dancing what? and get busy so i'm going to introduce you to everything you're gonna you're gonna need. wind up with about two dozen pasteles if you want more pasteles just double my recipe i'm gonna help you get it so right. right, very first okay, time. Okay, you ready? I'm so excited. You want to get 10 green bananas. This is a green banana. Green plantains. This is yuca. Two pounds. If you notice, I broke the end of this. To make sure that it's not right. This next one is a tricky so one. Stay with you tia. Very important for how the masa feels, looks, and tastes. There is yellow yao tia, white yao tia, purple yao tia, white. I don't know which is Okay. Way. So you need yellow and a white. pound of Eat. a pound and a half of pumpkin. Two pounds of potato. Then important part of my pastel. Banana leaves frozen. You can find this in any Hispanic market. In the freezer next to the Goya product. Or in this case, La Fe. This is a cheap grater. Go to a 99 cents one. They have them. Notice the grater has these. Can you see that? And then it has these tinier holes. You need this. Because the masa has to be really fine. Kind of like an oatmeal. You're going to need paper for the pasteles. This is the paper. See that? You need this paper. For your pasteles. This is the string you need. You need añato si. Also known as achote. I'm going to show you how you make the achote. It's real simple. You're going to take a cup of olive oil. Not virgin olive oil. Regular olive oil. You can't boil virgin olive oil. It becomes toxic. Pour a cup of this into a pot. And you're going to put three tablespoons. Bring the oil to a boil. <laughs> Oh my god, I was right. Get one of these. You're going to strain it. This is what it should look like. Your achote oil. Which you're gonna need for when you wrap the pastel. Let's talk about what you're putting on the inside of the pastel. I am going to put a recipe for the meat filling that I'm using in the instructions part of this YouTube video. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. This is chicken breast. Thighs. And I will give you the recipe and the instructions. You are going to peel all of the vegetables. You're going to peel all of this off. It comes off real easy. This, not so easy. So I use a knife. And what you want to do is that you want to very, very lightly cut into the skin like that. That's what it looks like on the inside. Peel a banana. Take the green banana. You cut the ends of it like that. You make a really thin. See that? Other side, you do the same thing. Very gently. You stick your fingers in there like this. See, mira. Ave Maria. You want to do the same thing with the platano. When you peel everything, wash it. Make sure you cover it in cold water because it starts to turn black. See what's happening there? That's what you want. You see that? As you get closer to the grater, be careful. We came down to a little, little, little. This is so exciting. Platano. Same thing. It's gonna get all mixed in together. It's gonna be so delicious, I can't even wait. So the masa's gonna be kind of like a base. Now you mix it all together. You want to take the juice from the meat, pour it into the masa to taste. Achote. A tablespoon of achote is plenty. It's gonna give it a little bit of color. Needs a little more salt. Mm. 
And here you have the prepared masa. Banana leaf. You want to get your leaves out. This is what it looks like. It's frozen. You want to wash this. I'm going to put it in water. I'll be back. So here you have the leaves. I put it on the hot water. And you want to pry it apart. This is what it looks like. Look at how beautiful that it makes is. the pastel taste so good. After you have your washed pieces, you have to burn them. Just enough to get the oils from the banana leaves to come to the surface because that's what makes the pastel taste so good. You see how it's starting to get shiny? Oils from the banana leaf are coming to the surface. Another thing you could do with your banana leaves. You can put them in the oven in pieces like this. 350 degrees for two to three minutes. Don't leave them in there longer because you don't want them burned. You see this? This makes it tough to bend. You want to cut that off like this. See? I like little squares. You can make them a little bit bigger, a little bit smaller, whatever works for you. You take your paper, the curly side down so it doesn't move like that. You're gonna take a banana leaf. You're gonna put it on the paper. You're gonna get your achote oil, a little bit like this. See that? Get about a spoonful of masa, put it in the middle. Then you're gonna take your meat. And don't be stingy with the meat, okay? Because I be getting pateles que están como lampiño. They're like both. Try to get all the juice out. Put it in the middle, like that. You're gonna take your paper and you're gonna fold it in half. Take the edge and do a little fold at the ends like this. See? Push everything in. Bring the fold over. Smash a little bit like that. You got your first pastel. Oh my god. Okay, well, you're not done, so relax. Sometimes they are, sometimes they're not, but it's not enough. The string. You want to do one, two, three. Fold it in half, put it together like that, put it under the pastel. excited for you're gonna do such an awesome job just follow the instructions now we're gonna eat them gonna boil it for one hour Make sure there is salt in the water not too much and you throw the pasteles in there you ready because i'm so excited i'll see you in a few minutes Share, share the video, like, like, like the video, and comment. I want to hear what you think about the recipe. Please subscribe. Christmas is coming. We want to make pasteles. Merry Christmas. And to my people in Puerto Rico, I love you. I love you. Lupita loves you.